For the third straight day, the Yankees got a great starting pitching performance. But unfortunately, unlike the first two days, it did not result in a win. As Garrett Cole today was electrifying. Six innings, two hits, one run, three walks, 10 strikeouts, 105 pitches. His ERA is at 3.12. I noticed how right now the the guy in the Yankees uh, who have the who has the lowest ERA is Jordan Montgomery at 3.3, which is just insane. And <laughs> before today's game, Cole had the lowest ERA of any starting pitcher, which is just a testament to how unbelievably dominant this rotation is. And he was he was on fire today. Just really made the Rays look silly for most parts. The Rays didn't get a hit until the fifth inning. And it was looking good here. The Yankees did get a run in the top of the first when Anthony Rizzo hit his sack fly to center to make it 1-0. Uh, DJ got on base. The Yankees were up. And then the Rays could not score for a majority of this game. And Will Mayu got on base because he had, he doubled into right and then Judge singled and then Rizzo hit sack fly. And then it took until the fifth inning for the Rays to get a hit. Uh, Mejia had a single. And then in the sixth, it's, a, it's two walks. And then Randy Orozarena with a single into left center. Choice scores and the Rays tie the game. Not great. And then the Yankees go down 1-2-3 in the seventh. Then in the bottom of the seventh, it's a single, it's a double. Ramirez grounds out, Kiermaier out at home. Okay, and then Walls grounds out to, to second, Ramirez out at second. Still looking good here, but then Diaz with a dink and dunk single. A lot of the Rays hits today were dink and dunk, it seemed like. That's how they got those two runs. And yeah, Diaz with the single there, Mejia scores, Rays take a 2-1 lead, and then the Yankees can't really get anything going. As you and Aaron Hicks just... I don't even need to talk about him. He comes, he, he, they pitch hit for him. Of course he stinks. But a lot of that, he had Rizzo nothing, Torres nothing, and Duhar, Carpenter after the, you know, the home run, uh, after the home run yesterday. He's about 125 right now. That's not, that's not ideal. Trevino didn't really do anything. Uh, Yankees were just shut down. So cr credit to Kluber and credit to the entire Rays pitching uh, staff for, uh, or for coming in today and just delivering. And the Yankees just could not, there was no excitement in this game here for the Yankees. Again, great cold performance, but the Yankees were not able to, dominate as well they weren't able to get the win because unfortunately the offense just really couldn't do anything so it's just unfortunate here in this situation again to see cole's great performance wasted but they have one two out of three here and we still at least have a split of the series would like to get three out of four tomorrow but it's just a shame again when you see a great performance like this from cole and it doesn't lead to anything that's just a real bummer there but what are you going to do in that regard but happy with the series the Yankees had so far just disappointed that today Cole. And yeah, I, I, and by the way, some people are going to complain about the G-Man Choi uh, walk that should have been a walk. Whatever. You know, umpires are terrible. It is what it is. The Yankees couldn't hit. And that's why they didn't win this game. They could not really hit. And it cost them. So, that's it for now, guys. Sorry that these videos are so lazy. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a busy weekend. Memorial Day weekend. Tomorrow, I did have a much normal video. A more normal video today. Tomorrow, the videos will hopefully be better as we'll be heading home. Uh, for tomorrow to be able to watch the final game of the series for the Yankees and Rays. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe down below. Hope you guys have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care and God bless.